Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to another round of solo challenge. This time let's play with Prelude Offs, 14 generations, Chungshing. You know what? I want to play a company we haven't played in a while. There's a number of them. Something like some of them are crap, like UNMI, but I just know that there are companies out here that aren't like ooh, wrong one. Aren't these companies. <laughs> like I feel like there's 12 or 16 companies in the game and we're playing the same eight. Like we haven't played Tharsis in a while. Is there anything here? An urbanized area perchance? Uh not really any energy. But that's fine. We can we'll make this work. Maybe we can get something good. We'll grab a card here. Place a city tile. Card draw me, baby. Maybe we can get money back on events. Let's start with this. I don't mind terraforming enemy and kelp farming, but um, I just don't. That's not where we're going with this. The other two cards are a little bit stronger. Invention contest. Don't crater. Still no energy though. Um, and then we'll get the mole hole area, like this. Two more cards. Nothing really that great. Obviously, um, greenhouses is good later on. Energy would be nice if it wasn't locked behind 6% oxygen. So, not really the start we were looking for. Higher graders is fine. Peroxide power opens us up a lot. All of this is good. So, we'll make our dollar of profit here. It's actually breaking even when you pay for the card. Um, but it gives you another event played, which can often be good so that's fine sacrifice is fine and just like that we have a little bit of energy and our plant cards are going to be discounted black polar like i mean all of these are good as well we do need to chill out on buying cards so that we can actually play cards but that's what things like urbanized area are for we're gonna actually get three income because we're tharsis and we're gonna get a couple of bucks back, which is nice. And our plant cards are that much cheaper. So we can get four plants right now with greenhouses, not really enough. Lake Marineris, advanced alloys, very good. Even though we don't have any metals production, you gotta respect advanced alloys. You must. Uh, deep well heating, don't mind if I do, that'll get us in range of lichen here soon once we get our production next turn a little bit of a slower start but we didn't have preludes so makes sense discounts discounts a lot of plant production obviously could be nice um there's lichen it's playable in fact it's very playable because we can use our microbes on it. I think I'll spend the dollar, it's fine. Now what to do, we've been buying up cards like crazy to keep our options very wide open. I think next turn we're gonna get the domed crater. So we'd love some metals, even the, even the polar dust would have been good, but I don't really wanna sell three cards. Obviously there's two cards I do wanna sell, but a third is a little bit difficult. I think I've paid for every other card. So we're gonna take a, a, a turn to float some cash and then grab some more good cards. There's the heat bump, which is nice. I don't mind the corporate stronghold. I'm just trying to figure out where it belongs. And sponsors as well, right? Because if I play Corporate Stronghold, I could grab a bunch of steel, but I don't want to use that steel until I've played Advanced Alloys. I do like the idea of playing Sponsors, but I also like the idea of playing Black Polar Dust. And I think I can play both. Doesn't seem like I can. You know... This might be a good enough spot as well. Or am I going to put my city in here? Let's 
just go up here for a second. So that gets me in a good spot. Then I can sell a couple of cards we know we don't like. Just not quite enough, eh? If I played greenhouses, I'd be even closer, but... Okay, next gen it is. We, we, we got something cooking, don't you worry. Quantum. We have no science blade. Grass is probably worth it. All of these are worth it, but it's just a matter of how soon can we actually get them out. I don't have, like, all my oceans are basically after we heat the planet. So, let's just keep heating the planet, because we're not there yet. Um... Noctis Farming isn't bad. It gets us some income. Any advanced alloys? Domed Crater, just for enough. Goes here. We get money back because it was a city. Noctis for a little bit of this. Gets us a greenery. Which... It's fine, we get some more stuff. And we have enough for sponsors this time. Great, great. We have 14 generations. We're now making $14 a turn. Um, it's time to start terraforming, though. Mine is good. Development center is good. Gene repair. Gets us to four science tags once we're at three. So there's value there for sure. The mine is like a must because we've been waiting on some sort of metal production um how many building tags have we played nine so this is five income now hard to say we can get through this round without playing that hard to say now is it worth playing another one sec yeah, it's probably worth playing greenhouses to get another income. I don't see us playing any cities in the short term. So let's go ahead, just get our plant stuff, get our income. We're up to 20 income because it was plus 6. One green plant away, but we're about to get our plant. Mining is good. AI Central is good, but we just don't have the, what we need. Saleta, way too late. Heat the planet. All right, what is our plant tag at? Count at? This is in. We're in. Okay. Even if we have a couple of discount cards here coming up, we know we have to play. Your boy. So now we have five plant income. In going into round 10. Okay. Rover would have been good earlier. Just, it's just too late now. We have like no oceans. So moss is likely to not be that helpful. Though it was a plant tag, so who knows. I'd really like to get up to my discount on space tags, my quantum. So we'll do gene repair, quantum, sabotage bad, AI central good. We have an oxygen bumper, don't we? No, we don't. Hmm. I had offered one, but been offered one. I mean, grass, grass is good. Let's go ahead and play the grass. Gets us another greenery. I'm just going to put this one in the sad location in between all the cities. It's not sad. It's good. It just doesn't give us any benefit back. Playing Zeppelins would be amazing. But we just can't get there this generation. Though let's play the mining expedition. Because that gets us a bunch of steel. And if we up our... 
And then up our plant production? I guess that's fine. Because we have heat coming in. We have heat, like, events and things. Standard tech and a cheaper ocean. Pretty great. Uh, getting the commercial district sounds amazing, but, like, they're my cities. I don't want to put things around my cities. Just greeneries would be fine. Okay. So we permafrost extraction. We're just going to simply go for two titanium. We should play for this. We should play for the big asteroid. Which the big asteroid gives us the titanium we need to play the comet. And I'm almost assured like going to come through here with my greenery. So let's... Got trees, which is which are very nice. I do really want to end the game with a with a spot, a city here. Just not quite lined up for that yet. Oh, we did get uh, zeppelins unlocked though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Income is good. We'll get it three times. I mean does make a five dollar profit right a little awkward because I really wanted trees I think you have to play trees first and then you play dev center so we'll get our zeppelins next time it'll still break even is the wild thing ooh no we don't have any space tags played Immigration shuttles is good for points and stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's not, um, it's really not worth the cost here for, like, maybe three points. Just not gonna, you're not gonna make that make any sense to me. Uh, Lake Marineris. Protected Valley. Oh, let's get our, uh, clicks done first. First, we'll draw that card. You never know what you could get. You never know. Decomposers, for instance. That's worth playing. Protected Valley. Right here. And then around the pocket we go. This is just... Bam, bam, bam. Now the heat is so close. We're going to melt. I can AI central here, which is just killing me, because I'm like, it's not, it's not like that great, but it's card draw, and I like card draw. I like cities and stuff. You know what, this is a good run. This is a good run, so we're gonna, we can afford this. Two more oceans and a mining area. I, I do like it, the mining area here, for instance, is cheap and it get like it's four dollars and it gets us six dollars back so it's pretty good but can i sell four cards one two not really unless i want to get rid of my nuclear power and my mining area just so that i can get I think I do. Get me out of here. Zeppelins. $30 of income plus standard technology means that we're pretty much we're there. Take this in case we need some sort of income. But really, we got three card draw coming right in hot. Artificial Lake. Don't mind it. Ice Asteroid, though, is seemingly better. Couple of heat bumps. Greenery is ready to go. I mean, look, well, standard project technology. I guess we can start with. Just greenering along here. But with standard tech, like. You know, I think we just want a greenery or an ocean here, so you can greenery beside both, and then now 
a single ocean is cheaper to buy with a standard technology. Just so get the money back. Then you buy that greenery. You know, like this is is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, no city adjacent spots are really giving me that much back. But I know I want like I guess I want a city here and here though. Oh my god, but I also want one there. It's tricky, but here, this makes that a four-point city to go with that four-point city. And we'll just a little bit of little bit of greed. This gets me a card draw, so I'm just going to go ahead and play that for the plant. It's fine. Oh, the last ocean. That would have been way better than what I did for an ocean. Damn. It's too bad. I don't have any Jovians, but this is a city. I mean, it's not a city on Mars. But I'd still get three bucks back for it. Do I have a Jovian to play? Not really, but let's just grab it. You know, you, you don't know. You don't know. Draw a bunch of cards. Get the discount on a plant tag. Giant Ice Asteroid's a bit funny. Because it's just absolutely pointless. And we're just gonna we're gonna buy a city, right? Then we put Do I grab a car? Like I don't think so. I think I just buy cities like a madman. We take our loan, we take our money. Food factories fine. So greenery So we win the game now. Now we're one plant shy, so let's just go ahead and place a city for two points. I mean, let me place a sit or a greenery, right? Yeah, like there's not really anything to do with it other than. If you put it here, you could technically put a city there for two points and a card draw, which is fine. The thing is that you have like no money left after buying that city. But we're only getting two greeneries either way. So food factory, I guess I could also play. But two points is better than a food factory, so. Also, I could buy a greenery right now, but I'd rather buy a city. I think it's just more Tharsis. City, right there. Get me a card. Hackers, absolutely trashed here. If I had one more dollar, I would have been able to keep my, um... I would have had enough right now to buy the card that is... My god my food factory i would have been able to play food factory that's all i'm trying to say uh two greeneries bam bam thank you ma'am 58 tr only 12 points on cards but green rings and cities mean 16 28 12 yo 114 not a bad run i'm happy i played a different corporation it's nice to spice things up Lots of cities does not go wrong. Y'all think cities are bad? Cities are good. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.